Okay, so there was a disconnect there. Let me recreate those uh, groups. Go back to mobile term. Okay, it says already exist. That's fine. And then we will create our Oracle user now. Right, Oracle user created. And I'm going to add all those groups, secondary group to Oracle user. If I do ID Oracle, I can see all those ID Oracle primary group and all the secondary groups. If I do pass WD Oracle, I will change the password for Oracle user. You can set it any password. Right, so password is set now. So now I'm going to create a directory called user one. Okay, now I will change the permission. Done. So now what we can do after that, uh, I will check it out my password, uh, my uh, before that, uh, you know, let me go to the, this is about creating the users and creating the directories. Now I'll go to the lab here. I'll configure Oracle SM. We already formatted now. We already formatted the disk. If I see it here, right? So it is formatted now, HDB1, HDC1. If I go back now, if I do Oracle configure hyphen I, Right, okay, it'll ask for the, uh, all these details. Who is the owner? Oracle is the owner. And uh, who is the group? Who install is the group? And I want to boot ASM drivers. Oh, sorry, I want to uh, uh, ASM drivers on the boot. I want to start the ASM drivers on the boot, yes. Uh, I want to scan disk on the boot, yes. That's it. So after that, you can do Oracle ASM init. You can see mounted right that's it so what you can do now you can directly uh, go to this particular disk create disk uh, instead of disk i will make it uh, this one as a data with the hdb1 disk right it's written and scanned uh, and then uh, and then I'll go with the Rico for the other SDC one. I will make it C1 and instead of data, I'll make it Rico. Right, done. So if I do, if I go back, if I do Oracle SM list disk, I should be able to see those disks. Right, data is ready and Rico is ready. So now we are good with the uh, you know, both data and record. Now we'll start with the installation. So let me see whether I have the softwares. Okay, so I'll do MKDIR patches. Okay, MKDIR patches. Okay, so I have downloaded softwares here. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so I got here, I got here all the patches, you can see. So what I'll do, I'll go back one step. Uh, I'll run that command again and go to CD and I'll go back and go and run this command so that, you know, all the, the permission might will get changed. CD, I'll go back to U01 patches. And you can see this, this particular patch is, is basically talks about, uh, you know, the GI patch. This is the GI patch and this is the DB patch. So this is GI patch. I'm, I'm going to unzip it. I'm going to unzip as a Oracle user. CDU01 patches. 60. This is a patch. Unzip and patch number hyphen D, I will directly unzip into 01 app uh, 12.2, which directory created? 
Okay, the, the grid home we are not created, right? So grid home, let me create the grid home here. That is the DB home we created, user on app uh, 12.2 grid. Let me create that directory first. Okay, then now unzip, and then this is a patch, and this is a directory. I'm going to unzip the grid patch into my grid directory. Okay, so whatever we did the unzip, it is wrong because uh, uh, you know this is a database database uh, software. So six zero is a database software. We should have downloaded the other uh, patch. So let me re-download that other one. Okay, this one unzip, and this is a patch, and this is a directory. Yeah, now it's uh, correctly unzipping. Yeah, now this is the correct one. Okay, so it's downloaded now. So let's go to the other screen and we are at uh, grid home. And if you do star.sh, you will see that grid setup.sh from your grid home, you just run that one. Grid setup.sh and it will launch the GUI screen. Yeah, you can see here. Whatever the screenshot we've seen, right? You can you can select for uh, you know standalone server. That's our Oracle restart. Select this one, click next, and then data disk group. So here, a uh, discover string. You need to change it. It should be dev Oracle ASM slash disks slash star. You can see data and record. I'll go with the data. And I'll go to external redundancy and proceed next. And give the same password for your CSM. Next. Also enter the new, let me retry one more time. Okay. Okay, uh, if you see here, uh, we're getting INS uh, 3004, right? Uh, if you see this Oracle launch document, INS 3004, the string password entered is invalid. So uh, I'm using at the rate in the middle. So it is it is not taking the password. Password should not contain at the rate. So that's the issue here. So I'm just uh, changing, uh, taking that at the rate. I'm just giving the normal password. Now it is fine, I believe. Right, so I'll just proceed further and go next. And you can give O install or whatever, whatever you feel better as for your design. And just go to install everything. Click yes. And Oracle base user and app. User and app Oracle. This directory is not exist. Let me create it. Mkdir hyphen p. Oh, sorry, mkdir hyphen p slash u01 app Oracle is my Oracle base. Next, yes, user app for inventory is my inventory location. Let me create that one user and app. Mother inventory. Let me verify that more inventory. Okay. And then next, it'll do the pre check. 
Friends, so there are so many uh, failures. You just fix and check again, and it will generate this particular script. Temp grid setup, and then CVU. Run as a root user. I'll just exit. Slash TMP grid setup. What's the date? You can you can note it down. Fifty nine hyphen fifty one. 51 m and CVU Oracle and run fix up. You have to run as a root user. You can see if all fix up are completed successfully, go back and click OK. It will do free check again and soft limit and this package. Physical memory, you can ignore it. Soft limit, maximum stack. We need to fix this. Let me see KSS package KSH should be there. RPM hyphen QA grip KSH. Okay, and then this lib AIO. Grip lib AIO. Lib AIO 0.3.109. Zero dot three dot one dot nine and EL seven. So it's already there. So you can ignore these are warnings and uh, soft limit. I can check that soft limit. Okay, we'll we'll check our uh, uh, what what is that uh, last CTC security dot uh, security limit dot config file. Uh, cat slash CTC security. Limits.config file. This is the file you need to check here. Oracle soft limit is set and Oracle hard limit is set here. Okay, if you want, you can increase it as per again design. I'll just put one more zero here. And just close it. And check again. And fix and check again. Again, I'll run this one. Run fix up. Okay, I'll ignore it. Since this is our lab environment, we can ignore and we can proceed. Okay, it is doing a uh, inventory saving. Repair phase is done, link library is done, and it's doing a setup now. Okay, so we got the uh, root script screen here, user and app for inventory root. We need to run as a root user. I will open here root session slash use the one app or a industry root or a root or a industry root dot sh. This is the first script and second script is from grid home use the one app 12 to grid root dot sh. Grid root dot sh. Okay. Click enter. It'll take a few seconds. Okay. 
you can tell this particular blog file for more details. When this root script is done, so we can go back to that GUI installation screen and we'll click OK here. So still going on. Node Oracle server successfully pinned and it stopped Oracle restart service. Top of EVMD, shutdown of Oracle high availability. You can see this message successfully configured Oracle restart for standalone server. Go back, click OK. Now the root script is done and now it's doing the configuration. Configuration of Oracle grid infrastructure for standalone server that is updating inventory and uh, network configuration stunt and Oracle uh, storage management configuration stunt and you know finally verification utility okay so here it says uh, oracle net configuration assistant failed so if we click on details uh, okay so i can click okay as of now and then uh, you can you can retry or you can skip that one because we can later also you can try that one you try my fix now see it, it proceeded further now So if I go back to screen, if I do PSFNEF, grab PS1, you can see the CSM is already started. If I do dot for INV plus CSM, CLCTL stat resource F and T, you can see, right? Data is online, listener is online, but it's not running. ASM instance is shut down and starting now all the services yeah completed oracle verification utility so it's all done go next see the configuration for oracle grid infrastructure for standalone server was successful close and now go back here do one more time psf and you have grip s mount done if we run one more time you can see data is online listener is offline asm is online everything is online so now we'll we'll quickly uh you know start our oracle home and uh, database uh, database dbca database installation